Question 1. What is a DBMS? Answer. DBMS stands for Database Management System. A DBMS receives requests from applications and translates those requests into actions on a specific database. A DBMS processes SQL statements or uses other functionality to create process and administer databases. Question 2. What is relationship set? Answer. The collection, or set, of similar relationships. Question 3. What is relationship type? Answer. Relationship type defines a set of associations or a relationship set among a given set of entity types. Question 4. What is degree of relationship type? Answer. It is the number of entity type participating. Question 5. What is DDL? Data Definition Language? Answer. A database schema is specifies by a set of definitions expressed by a special language called DDL. Question 6. What is VDL? View Definition Language? Answer. It specifies user views and their mappings to the conceptual schema. Question 7. What is SDL? Storage Definition Language? Answer. This language is to specify the internal schema. This language may specify the mapping between two schemas. Question 8. What is Data Storage Definition Language? Answer. The storage structures and access methods used by database system are specified by a set of definition in a special type of DDL called Data Storage Definition Language. Question 9. What is DML? Data Manipulation Language? Answer. This language that enable user to access or manipulate data is organized by appropriate data model. 1. Procedural DML or low level. DML requires a user to specify what data are needed and how to get those data. 2. Non-procedural DML or high level. DML requires a user to specify what data are needed without specifying how to get those data. Question 10. What is DML compiler? Answer. It translates DML statements in a query language into low-level instruction that the query evaluation engine can understand. Question 11. What is query evaluation engine? Answer. It executes low-level instruction generated by compiler. Question 12. What is DDL interpreter? Answer. It interprets DDL statements and record them in tables containing metadata. Question 13. What is record at a time? Answer. The low level or procedural DML can specify and retrieve each record from a set of records. This retrieve of a record is said to be record at a time. Question 14. What is set at a time or set oriented? Answer. The high level or non-procedural DML can specify and retrieve many records in a single DML statement. This retrieve of a record is said to be set at a time or set oriented. Question 15. What is relational algebra? Answer. It is procedural query language. It consists of a set of operations that take one or two relations as input and produce a new relation. Question 16. What is relational calculus? Answer. It is an applied predicate calculus specifically tailored for relational databases proposed by EF. Cod. E.g. of languages based on it are DSL alpha, quell. Question 17. How does tuple-oriented relational calculus differ from domain-oriented relational calculus? Answer. 1. The tuple-oriented calculus uses a tuple variables i.e. variable whose only permitted values are tuples of that relation. Example. Quell 2. The domain-oriented calculus has domain variables i.e. variables that range over the underlying domains instead of over relation. Example. Il. Deduce. Question 18. What is normalization? Answer. It is a process of analyzing the given relation schemas based on their functional dependencies, FDs, and primary key to achieve the properties, 1. Minimizing redundancy, 2. Minimizing insertion, deletion and update anomalies. Question 19. What is lossless join property? Answer. It guarantees that the spurious tuple generation does not occur with respect to relation schemas after decomposition. Question 20. What is fully functional dependency? Answer. It is based on concept of full functional dependency. A functional dependency x, y is full functional dependency if removal of any attributor from x means that the dependency does not hold any more. 